As marijuana laws loosen in both Missouri and Illinois, police face the challenge of determining if someone is driving high. The issue is finding a tried and true test. Tonight, Only News 4's Alexis Zotos gives us an exclusive look at a new tool being used in some places. So this is the swab. A simple swish around the mouth could hold the answers police are searching for. It's almost like they're blind now when they walk up to a car. When police pull over someone possibly driving under the influence, they lack the tools to tell them if the driver is high until now. Basically lab, lab quality results in the palm of their hand within five minutes. Fred Delfino is the senior law enforcement liaison for Abbott, the company behind this instrument called Cetoxa. It's a first of its kind roadside drug test. We have amphetamines, methamphetamines, benzodiazepines, cocaine, morphine and marijuana. Recreational marijuana is legal in Illinois and medical marijuana legal in Missouri. And police are faced with the challenge of finding out who is driving high. It's one of our leading causes of crashes on the roadway other than distracted driving. Many departments like St. Louis County have drug recognition experts who are trained to spot high drivers. So Toxa could help confirm their suspicions. We insert it into the device. After five minutes, it prints out a reading either a positive or a negative result. It won't tell you how high a driver is, but that there are drugs in their system. Our marijuana is at 25 nanograms, so that's the level of threshold. There above will detect it as a positive test result. Lower than that number, it's going to come back as a negative test result. Police in the Metro East tell News 4 they have not seen an increase in impaired driving since recreational marijuana became legal on January 1. But their eyes are on the roadways. Cetox is used across Michigan and by a department near Chicago. But departments in the Metro East say the cost would have to be right for them to implement using it. We have a tool for breath alcohol testing. It's been used, it's been proven. So tox is a tool that now can be used for drug testing along the roadways. The company wouldn't say exactly how much these devices will cost a police department, but they did point it is very cutting edge technology. Alexis, the cost, one concern with this, but with anything new, I'm sure there's other concerns with this as well. There are, and some of those concerns are whether this will be admissible in court, how a judge will look at it. Defense attorneys, of course, have questions about false positives. And the other question really is the fact that there's no scientific mm. uh, measurement to measure a high driver, similar to what we have with a blood alcohol. Hall content level. Certainly something to watch. Absolutely. Alexis, thank you.